turn on the camera, Rosie. Guess what night it is, Missy Jen. <laughs> it's Friday. Friday night. It's Friday night and we are Friday night foodies. We're gonna go out to the little town of Sebastopol. I don't know where we're the name of the place. We have it plugged into the GPS. When I find out, you'll find out. All I know is we ain't having Indian food tonight, right? We're it's not comfort food. Comfort food. I need to get back to that comfort place because today, guys, a five dollar a five dollar uh, MP3 cord fried my computer. Turn left onto the California 12 West Ramp. Uh, don't push it, lady, tonight. Don't push it, okay? So, like, this $5 thing fries my computer, but I'm going to be positive. I'm going to be upbeat, Missy Jen. I'm going to be happy. And you shall be rewarded. I'm going to have a smile on my face when I go in. You will be rewarded with comfort. And you'll say, how was your day? And I'm going to say, it was great. <laughs> really, yeah, it was... It's such an awesome Friday, you know. How are you? How's your family? <laughs> That's why they call it Friday. It's Friday. I'm it's sucking okay. one up big for the team tonight. By now, guys, you have seen my EOL end of life video I did for that crappy little uh, end of the line for that crappy little POS cord. So I hope you have a few laughs out of that thing. Plus, you get to hear Mrs. Miller sing downtown and send it out with uh, style. Jen and I have kind of decided anything else that's ended a line now we're going to send it out with Mrs. Miller. Right? Let's get that uh, nice right. overlay track of Mrs. Miller. So it'll go out All right, with grace. Guy. Looks it'll, like you've been kissing today or something. It'll go out with grace and dignity. Oh, your lipstick. Yeah. My yeah. lipstick told on me. Right. Yeah. We'll see you out there. Continue California 12 West for five miles. of Sebastopol there's, there's, there's handicap right there so here we go guys there's the smoker there so this should be interesting well, I think we're gonna have a bit of a feast oh Miss, well, well. Mr. We're here, ladies and gentlemen. we're here let's go eat all right yeah, that's it. Yep, we're out at the old Sebastopol train station actually uh, it's been converted into shops and stuff, so this is the smoker here. That looks like a fancy piece of equipment. <laughs> How are you? Good, we're just coming through, just shooting a little video, gonna have some dinner. It's a cool looking thing. Yeah, it's, just, it's a nice unit. Is it a smoker? Yeah. Is that what it is? Beautiful. Yeah, it is. All right. You look like the boss of the smoker there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Really Have a good one. Well. Thank you. Uh-huh. So we, do we have to... Yeah, I think we can get in here. All 
Apple Junction Smokehouse. Let's take a look here. Junction platter, all kinds of things. Burgers. Oh, look, Jen, they got the vegetarian option for you tonight, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe. Look, they got a chicken pot pie. Maybe in another life. Chicken pot pie. What do you think of that? All right. Junction chili too. Out that trailer over there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is this used to be the old uh, Sebastopol train station here. Yeah. This looks like uh, steampunk, actually. I mean, that's a real that's a real 18 something uh, steam engine, but it's kind of steampunk. Got a singer sewing. Yeah, singer sewing machine. In case you want to do some sewing while you're yeah, riding along the rails you got a rip in your at 60 you miles an hour. Great. Boy, I could take that motor. Those motor things go too. for 100 bucks on eBay. Oh, well, you can ride the horse on the front too. You can get your ass probed by one of these. Yeah. What do you think of that? Horsey right. There it is. Yeah. Well, there's nobody ever said the town of Sebastopol a is not is not a colorful place. little town. I'll tell you that. So, all right. Well, let's go get some grub. All right. Yeah, the other place where we went before. Okay, it's inside of a rail car. You're going to have to take some steps. Might be able to do a ramp there. I don't know. Let me just survey it for a second. This is, yeah, there's a big long ramp over here. Use next door down, so. I don't know what the hell this place is. Some kind of coffee club or something? What the hell's that? Live music? Oh, I'm afraid. There we go. Is that it? Southern Pacific Coffee Cats. Uh, I guess it's up here. There's somebody chowing down on some ribs. It looks like a mighty happy eater right there. All right. Hi. Hi, we just couldn't figure out how to get in. Yeah, come on, <laughs> I know, it's so. <laughs> Is it right if I take a little video for us? Is of that course, okay? okay, yeah. thank you, Hi. I always ask. Hi. Yeah, how are you ladies doing tonight? Very cute. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Come on in, wherever you want to okay, sit. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. On the drier side, yeah. I can go grab you another rest of the bike. You know, I didn't What do you think, Jen? Right here? Is this okay? It's a very cute place, so I didn't even know it was in here. Like it. Um, give me one second. I'm going to wipe the table down. Okay, sure. All right. She's cute. Nice waitress. Yeah, I like the fact that she wears two different colored socks. Yeah, it's nice. That's what you do too. That's what I do too. And then the boss lets him around. Because he hates it. Absolutely. All right. How are you two doing this Great. evening? Great. Good. Hungry. <laughs> Hungry? Oh, you can go to that place then. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got no. They just kind of opened recently, established 2015. So there's no. There's no. Uh, not bad, a full rack of baby back ribs for $15.95. Meatloaf, chunks and chili. So that's pretty good. I'm excited about that. So. Yeah. And yeah, I saw the smoker outside. Yeah, they look really the good. Yeah, the smoker is awesome. We got some great dishes. All right. Um, and then just so you ladies know, the one thing we're out of this evening is the chicken pot pie. Okay. So, all right. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you hear that chicken pot pie? 
chicken pot pie. Chicken. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy your shoes. You hear that chicken eye? No chicken pot pie. That, that would have been something that I would have not, not shown. I would have probably tried that tonight, the chicken pot pie. Just I've, because I've had a hankering for a pot pie. So. All right, well. Any appetizers? I don't think there's any appetizers I want to get. Just get right down to serve with two sides and a dinner roll. So I'm going to do the baby back ribs, the full slab. And I'm going to get fries. And I'm going to try the tangy apple coleslaw. How's that sound? Sounds like it might be pretty good, huh? How about you, Missy Jen? I'll give you a couple more minutes to think this about guy's it. The uh, smoker guy behind you, and he's talking about how he believes the rib has to have a the rib has to have a little bit of tongue to it. It shouldn't really be fall off the bone. It should have a little pull. So. Everybody's different with the way that they do uh, barbecue. He sure as hell's got the hat for it, I'll tell you that. Kind of a cool little place to be in the old rail car. Yeah. I am choosing the junction platter. Just don't get this here junction platter. Tri tip briskus pulled pork and pulled chicken. That way, it's an expensive chick to feed, I'll tell you. That way Choice can, of any four sides. That way we can try everything. We're trying everything. We're trying my way to the bathroom. Well, you can, you can take a <laughs> bite. Oh, kidding, honey. Order up. That way you can, that way you can take a bite. Like Ross on the, the pre says, order up, buttercup. That's it. Forget it. She likes uh, she likes um, sweet potato sweet fries potato too. Fries. Crazy about them. You got it. Okay, so I'll take the sweet potato fries, baked mac and cheese. Okay. I'll give the uh, tangy apple coleslaw. Okay. Try. Right, and one more. And the mashed And the mashed potatoes, you got it. All right, All right thank too. you. You're so welcome. I'll get this day right away yep. for y'all. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, you guys would be surprised. You may think like uh, California is like New York, but it's really not. I mean, it's a, it's not a really fast place pace. I mean, the people are the people are a lot nicer yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Everybody's pretty kind here. Yeah. Easy going. Nobody knows. Nobody's ever really minded being video. Except that gal at the Indian restaurant, she said, I don't mind the video, and just don't put me on it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we can see that. She didn't want to be recorded. But you guys should always ask. Don't just start running a video camera. And, just and you know what? It's really nice about this here is, this is in an authentic railroad car. This is the re a real railroad car here. Yeah, these actually come down. Right? This is the heaters, I think. Yep. This comes out. Yeah, this is real. This is real authentic right here. It's, it's a real, real car. It's a real yeah. yeah, you can kind of see the decor. These are probably, uh, these are probably, all, I don't know if these are authentic or not. If they have them on the sides there. You can almost feel this thing clickety clack, clickety clack down the down the tracks there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Hello, who's that cute girl? I used to enjoy <laughs> going on a train to Düsseldorf. That's to one thing. On. That's one thing we don't have. People don't do a lot of public transportation here. In this country. Uh, like the big cities to get off the train, <laughs> like Columbus. That's a European and thing. And you'd be right smack dab in the center. Yeah. You get off. Get drunk. And you're like right there in the shopping center. Missy Jen was a you were a party animal, weren't you? Back, Back in the day, yeah. Clubs, bars, yeah. 
the non-union beer? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I wasn't supposed to mention that, eh? Nothing wrong with the silver bullet. Bobby the old teamster, you know. I used to drink the silver bullets all the time in Missouri. I like the Coors Light, I just can't I'm so used to having beer when we go out on Friday night foodies, but what the heck, alright. Keep small. That's right. Okay. Well, we hit a slight kink in the road. It seems like our order didn't quite make it into the uh, kitchen. So it's going to be a little while longer here, guys. Yeah, the man man forgot to deliver the ticket. Yeah, it looks like the ticket went down between the crack or something. Suck it up. Get your big girl pants on. What are you going to do? We'll just listen to some Neil Young. I'm so hungry. <laughs> if we're lucky, I think our food may be coming. Then again, maybe not. Looks like our food is coming. Here we go. Here we are. There we go. So this is good. for you, the junction platter here. Wow. Well, your hope you're hungry. <laughs> Just need some ketchup and some extra napkins. I got Thank some you. ketchup right here for you. I'll go get you some napkins. Mm. Fresh crunch French fries. There's the ribs. Looking good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anything else okay. I can bring no, you? No, that's it. You good? Okay. All right. Thank Spain you. Is Ladies, I'm sorry. I heard you had a problem with your. No, it's tonight. okay. We're fine. Yeah. Um, it's okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to discount your dinner tonight. Okay. Because I want you to know we do care and we want you to come back. <laughs> All right. Thank you and very I'm much. Just so. Yeah. This is amazing. This is all the meat here. The sauce is incredible. And here's all your sides. You got, what do you got? Potatoes, mac and cheese, you got coleslaw, and you got uh, sweet potato fries. I'll tell you guys, for $15.95, this is a lot of, a lot of food right here. So, Missy Jen, have a bite. What are you trying first? Your uh, ribs? Yeah, it's the. Good stuff. Good sauce. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good sauce. Mm -hmm. That's really smoked too. That's the real deal. Now they're not these. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Give it another taste. Okay. Thank you. Oh. All right. Nice. Abundanza. Enjoy. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and try a little bit of the uh, rib. These are not falling off the bone. These have a little bit of pull to them, like I was saying. The sauce is really good. Okay. Really a good rib. You can really taste the smoke on these. They're not over. They're not charred. 
been destroyed. They just have that little, what do you call it, brown sugar kind of glaze on it. Hand cut fries here. And the apple calls. Let's start eating and we'll check back with you in a little while. Jan's going to let me try a piece of her uh, brisket here. Give that a whirl. <laughs> it's almost like a fried chicken. You know, it's, it's, it's no, that's actually what it's supposed to be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A good, good brisket. Good cross cut brisket. That yeah, that's very good. That's very good. Uh, this, this uh, apple is very good. This apple coleslaw is pretty amazing too. You know, it's not the usual goo you get when you get an applesauce. The fries look a bit oily. But, you know, they were almost like a side show here, so I'm not going to really worry about them. Yes, how do you like your uh, How do you like yes, your sides on this? Yeah. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is good. I mean, that's in, that's, I don't know, guys. That's that's just insane the size of the sides. The potatoes here are really good. They are made with real potatoes, fresh potatoes. The only thing that I'm not too fond of is the sweet potato fries. Really? They are always your favorite, usually. Yeah, but they kind of clump together. Yeah. Well, I'm enjoying everything on mine. I'm just not a fan of the fries. But, all right. All right, finish up. Have you hit your point yet? I feel like I'm pregnant. Like I said, it's just insane the amount of food that they serve marks. up here. I'm get those yep. marks. Do you need well locks over here for the rest of your sides? You got it. I'll be right back. Thank you. Bye. You're yep. welcome. We'll take the check too. So. Oh, you got it. Do you need some, uh, uh, Rhonda asked me to offer you a piece of cobbler tonight. Okay. You good? Not necessary, yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. Valley's gonna be like a ripe watermelon loop. We're just finishing up, guys. Missy Jen's got her, uh, her dinner for the next month. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, guys. We've got a lot to say when we get outside tonight. In the place. But it's mostly good. It, it hasn't been open that long. There's a few bugs to be worked out. But other than that, I'll give you our rating outside. And tell you what we think. Apple Junction. Comfort food. Apple Junction restaurant. Okay, so smoker was firing at night, that's for sure. Alright, well there we go. We're out the door for thirty-three forty-three. Of course, they gave us a discount. I mean, the prices, I'm going to have a lot to say about that. Uh, the prices just seem incorrect. You know? I thought your junction platter was $21. Yeah. Yeah, she knocked everything off. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I hope they know what they're doing up there on that cash registry. That's all I got to say. Okay, guys. She certainly earned that tip tonight, so we're out of here. Okay. begin with the rating, Missy Jan. What did you think overall for your, uh, you mm -hmm. got the uh, junction platter with the four sides. What, what would you rate that? Uh, 9.4. The reason I got the junction platter is because it had the selection of four sides and four different meats so that we could try the whole variety of what they're offering. And uh, all four different types of meats were perfect. And on the side dishes, the uh, noodles were great. Yeah. Uh, then the uh, potatoes.
burgers were excellent. They were <coughs> fresh from potatoes because you could still see the peel grown into it. So it was fresh made and the, uh, what else did we have? Oh, the uh, apple the coleslaw, like. the rolls were fresh made and they were the real deal like they were made, like we made them in Germany. I'm really blown away, those were the real deal. There was one thing that was not too good and that was the fries were clumpy. You had the sweet potato fries. Yeah, they were like greasy and clumpy, so that's the only thing I have a complaint about. Uh, service was excellent. Uh, yeah, they lost, their, coffee, lost their think. ticket, they were, the owner came over and apologized. And yes, and uh, so the ambience and everything with the uh, uh, train train card and everything was excellent i re recommend that place and uh, uh, a knock i would have given it a 9.6 but the f because of the fries i knock it down 0.2 and i also want to give it a little bit of room for uh, you know improvement so it's a 9.4 9.4 well, i'm just going to rate it first and tell you to me it's a it's a 9.4 Oh, which is good because it's a barbecue, it's a smokehouse. And I'm really tough. I just want to make sure nobody's trying to get down the ramp here behind us. I got a lot of stuff to say, guys. You telling me that you're going to put a full platter of ribs in, plus two sides, plus a roll. I mean, for $15.95. I mean, come on. You know, this is insane. This is insane. You're not going to stay in business doing that. I mean, that's a that's like a twenty-one ninety-five plat, and uh, it was good. I don't think the guy that's running the smoker really has a real clue about how to really do the smoker. <coughs> what saved the ribs and still made them really great was the sauce. Was the sauce was very amazing for the uh, for the ribs. You know, it was great sauce. The, uh, you know, it was a, it was a little tough. He was talking about. I overheard him talking about how you want the meat with a little tug to it. You, want, you don't want it to fall off the bone, but a little tug to it. But this was you know, full on yank. But the flavor was very good, the smoked flavor. So, And it wasn't burned, it wasn't charred and destroyed, which I really like. Now, what detracted from my 9.0, the fries were just a, just a, you know they'd been in the oil too long and they were just you could tell they were just full of oil and I, I don't eat that I don't eat the bread because I'm kind of like Anthony Bourdain in uh, you know when Anthony Bourdain on CNN and the uh, Food Network used to go around he didn't give a fuck about french fries he didn't eat the bread he just went right for the main event <laughs> Yeah. meats and all that stuff so that's exactly the way skipping, I feel about it. Skipping the fillers. Yeah, yeah. So skipping the fillers and just heading right for the uh, right for the main event so I really feel like for value you can't beat this place. This is right. there might not be here at the end of the year you know a dollar sixty five or so a dollar twenty five for a cup of coffee really. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna have to <laughs> definitely change the price and then the uh, because the, the ticket got lost back there she knocked another 25 percent off right. so what would have been a 40 dollar meal ends up being a uh, 33 dollar meal so pretty amazing uh, pretty amazing all in all when you think about that how much you get here so this is not a cheap town either sebastopol's a hoity-toity uh, expensive yes. as hell I mean, the average house out here is probably six hundred fifty thousand bucks. I mean, these people, people got money. These people got yeah. money here. So if I had so a business here, I would have the prices beefed up. I mean, I can just turn yeah. the camera in and show you guys in the window here, and you can see oven roasted coffee fourteen fifty a pound. That gives you an indication of how expensive yeah. you know things normally are. So it was a very interesting thing. I'm willing to bet that it's this family's first flyer into restaurant business. So, having said that, right. a lot of fun. Definitely worth the trip. Apple Junction Smokehouse yeah. here in Sebastopol, California. We're foodies now, guys. It's Friday.
thanks for being along. All right, everybody. All right, tough guy.